Hello my lovely people, welcome to today's video. As you can already tell from the title, it's a DIY tutorial. I made this beautiful, beautiful Ankara wall canvas for my living room space. I didn't actually record a video when I made this, but I'll be showing you how you can achieve something like this using a smaller dimension. I'll also be adding the exact dimension I used to create this design in case you want to try it out. Alright, enough said, let's roll! So these are the materials we'll be needing for our project. You'd need cardboard paper, you'd also need Ankara fabric or whatever material you want to use for the covering, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, top bond glue. You'd also need thick cardboard paper or what we call carton. Now this is an interface, it's a breast pad or what they call wadding. You can get it from a tailor's shop. All right. So first things first, you want to cut out the exact dimension of your carton on your wording. So these are the dimensions I used for each of the piece to create the beautiful design you saw earlier. Here I've already cut out the wording piece in the exact dimension of the carton piece. For the Ankara piece, add extra 2 inches to the length and width of the carton piece. For example, carton piece measuring 12 inches by 32 inches, you'll be cutting out an Ankara piece of 14 inches by 34 inches. I hope you get. After cutting out all your pieces, the next step is to glue the interface to the carton piece. This is so we could have a smooth canvas for our Ankara piece. Then cut out any excesses there might be so we could have a smooth edge just to make things, you know, smooth and nice. The next step is to place the Ankara piece over the interface, you know, just smoothing it out so it will be nice and flat and beautiful. Now this is the reason we added the extra 2 inches so there will be enough space to glue the Ankara fabric to the carton piece. Yes. Look at this beauty, ooh, so lovely. So you can clean out whatever excess glue there might be on the Ankara fabric and cut out whatever excesses at the edge. You know, you could also apply glue so that this would sit flat and nice. Yes, clean your hands please, oh yeah. Lay that aside, the next step we will be finishing off this beautiful Ankara piece using cardboard paper to cover the back you know so it just looks nice and beautiful and neat yes so what I'm doing here I'm just taking the measurements for this particular frame it's 10 inches by 7 inches so I'll be cutting out a cardboard paper piece that would be I think an inch less you know so that at least you know just for some just aesthetics too but nobody's really going to look at the back of this guy but oh well just to you know finish it up nicely so i'm cutting out nine inches by six inches on my cardboard paper piece and yes yeah, so please don't use your hand to do don't freestyle it okay because yeah i was just trying to freestyle the line wasn't so straight if you have a ruler there was no ruler around for me to really but if you have a ruler around please yeah make your lines straight and nice yeah so after cutting out the cardboard paper piece you just glue it to the back of our frame and just for a neat finishing and we are done can clean out any excess glue and voila look at this beaut yes i made this other one using sego gili and just added fabric flower to it just a different design you can play around with this and yes this is the final look before i glue them to my wall all right thank you guys for watching this far thank you so much please 
if you really enjoyed this give me a thumbs up comment like share and let me know if you do try this out i'll see you in my next video bye